Alright, what's up YouTube, m 40 here on No Limit Gaming, giving you guys a relatively interesting deck profile. Um, my good friend Billy Fulfer has actually been testing out with Psychics for quite some time, and I wanted to give you guys his format list uh, for this current format. Um, now, looking at this deck, um, one of your major matchups that you're going to have issues with is going to be Quill Fort. Um, if you can gain momentum before your opponent, you're not going to have any problem in that particular matchup. Um, it's only when your opponent's already got momentum, and you need to take it away from them to stabilize your own that you'll have problems. So typically, as long as your deck can set up first before your opponents, um, typically in most situations, uh, you should have a relatively easy matchup against most of your opponents. Um, you also have a little bit of an issue um, dealing with other setup decks. Um, same general concept uh, along with your own. So let's get into this. Uh, one Caius, pretty much meta removal uh, in today's format. Uh, triple Overdrive Teleporter, um, you know, it is a Tribute Monster, uh, but the fact that you get two free level 3 Psychic-type monsters from your deck, uh, very powerful. Uh, two Silent Psychic Wizard, once again, uh, doing what Psychics do, do best in general combos. Uh, triple Reborn Tengu, uh, this deck tries to utilize the Synchro Engine. Um, very important, um, additional deck thinning, uh, setting up combo pieces, um, something else generally really important to the deck. Triple Witch, uh, once again, major combo piece. Uh, one Commander, level 3 tuner. And of course, Cleric, also generating your combos. Uh, two Strikers, four additional access into Beast and Barkeon. Uh, Esper Girl, pretty much combo based. Uh, Jumper, once again, messing with your opponent. Angle, Bulb for combos. The spells, Regeki, pretty staple. Mind Control, uh, two Hidden Armory for Snatch and Steal. Dark Hole. Soul Charge, 2 Duality, uh, Triple MST, Triple Emergency Teleport, uh, and 1 Snatch Deal. Uh, his Trap Board, 1 Bottomless, 1 Torrential, 1 Compulse, 2 Emptiness, 1 Warning. Uh, now you can really mess around with this depending on how you want your Trap Lineup. If you don't want to play Hidden Armory for Snatch Deal, um, kind of plays into your own preference. You can go into a third Emptiness if you really want. The Extra Deck, Levier, Bouncer, Armory Arm. Beast, Armades, Barkeon, 2 Goyo Guardian, Black Rose, Dark Strike, Stardust, Thought Ruler, Scrap Dragon, Leo, and Star Eater. Uh, side deck, The Hands, Triple Fossil Dyna, 2 Twister, 2 Trap Tricks, Triple Nightmare, 1 Mirror Force, and Triple Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. Uh, like I said though, pretty straightforward uh, for an, a stun based deck bringing life back into the Tengu engine. Uh, like I said though, um, one of your major problems will be um, if you can't set up before your opponent. Unfortunately, that's the downside to playing a combo based deck such as this in the current format um, because a lot of more things are a lot more powerful than they used to be. So guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about this deck and well, I'm